Today's asana practice is going to be a little bit different from that. It's going to be based in the Ashtanga sequence, but we're going to take um, some little detours around the normal method. Um, it's going to be a little bit slower, a little bit more laid back than the full speed Ashtanga vinyasa we usually do. Um, and to that end, we're actually going to start with a little bit of mindfulness med meditation. So if you want to find a seat that's comfortable for you to meditate in, um, and remember, for some of you, that comfortable seat might actually be laying down. That's fine. For some of you, it might mean that you want to put a bolster or a blanket under your sit bones so that your hips are raised up a little bit. This will relieve the stress that develops in the hip joint as you're sitting in meditation. If you wanna sit in a chair, that's fine too. Um, if you choose to sit in a chair, try to make sure that your feet are flat on the floor. And let your hands rest in your lap. That goes for wherever you are. Hands resting in the lap. The palms might be stacked or they might be resting on the knees. It doesn't matter. And once you reach a place of stability, let your eyes close. And if letting your eyes close all the way feels uncomfortable for you, you might leave them cracked just a little bit. And then Start practice with a few deep breaths. I want you to breathe only through your nose. Deep, slow breath in, filling up the lungs entirely, feeling the chest rise. And then a very slow, drawn out exhalation. Then again, breathing in very slowly, very deeply, feeling for that sense of receiving and accepting the breath. And then breathing out, feeling that sensation of letting go, releasing. Just one more time, deep, exaggerated, full breath in, feel the rise of the rib cage, the lift of the heart. And then exhaling very slowly, letting go. And now let that breath control go. And let the breath be however it naturally wants to be. So if your breath wants to be shallow, let it be shallow. And if your breath wants to be deep, let it be deep. Give your upper, yourself the opportunity to let the breath just be however it wants to be. So you're not forcing anything, you're not opposing anything, just allow it. And you might notice how with just these few short moments of mindful attention, the quality of the mind has shifted. And from this place, it's nice just to check in and ask yourself how you're feeling today. So you might notice if there's any physical sensation, something that feels pleasant or unpleasant in the body. Go ahead and scan through and notice what's there in the physical realm. Then you might notice what the mental energy is like. What sort of feelings and emotions are present today? Let yourself sense whatever is there without judging it. So 
if there's any pain, just notice, okay, if there's a little pain. Try not to resist the pain. You can just label it as what it is. Then returning the mind to the quality of the breath. There's still no need to control the breath. The breath can remain natural, unopposed, flowing freely. We're gonna take a brief scan through the body, just to feel every region mindfully. You can start at the crown of the head Noticing what sensation is here, right at the top of the skull. The things you might notice here could be warmth or coolness, maybe the weight of your hair. Some of you might have a felt sense of the scalp, the skin, and how it holds tight to the skull itself. You might perceive the roundness of the skull. And then following that roundness over to the region of the brow. Letting your attention settle here in the brow and seeing what softening is possible. And to soften here, you might imagine the eyebrows moving away from the center line so that the space between the brows increase and soften. And you can feel the eyes themselves, feel how the eyelids gently press into each other. And then you can imagine that you're smiling through the eyes. Like the corners of the eyes turn up just a little bit. Letting the attention drift down into the jaw. Letting the jaw be relaxed, slightly unhinged. The teeth a little bit apart. Feel for how the tongue settles in the mouth, pressing the tip of the tongue to the roof just behind the teeth. Letting the rest of the tongue relax down into the lower jaw. Then letting the attention drift down into the shoulders. You can imagine the shoulders softening down. And the visual here might be of ice melting to water. Shoulders dripping downward. Allowing yourself to feel the length and volume of the arms. Scanning through the elbow, down into the wrist. Then feeling into the hands. Notice where the hands are either touching each other or touching the knees. Notice what those points of contact feel like. Maybe there's a temperature or a texture that's there. And bring the awareness inside of the hands. 
see if you can soften the hands just a little bit more. Noticing that the more you soften, the more subtle sensation might present itself. So maybe there's a buzzing or vibrating right there in the fingers. Then letting the attention wander back into the region of the chest, feeling how the breath moves the rib cage, front ribs lifting on the inhale, and then lowering down on the exhale. And feeling how the breath moves the same pattern in the belly, the belly expands on the inhale, falls back on the exhale. Then scanning the awareness down into the region of the hips, scanning awareness through the genitals, through the buttocks, Feeling the weight of the buttocks pressing into the floor or into your chair. Just noticing what that sensation feels like. Then feeling down into the length and volume of the legs. Scanning through the knee joint down into the ankle, and then placing awareness in the feet, softening the toes. Now, as if you were operating the zoom on a camera, pull your focus back and allow yourself to feel the entire body at once. Crown, eyes, lips, softening shoulders, softening fingers, hips, legs, feet, fingers and toes. Feel the play of aliveness that moves constantly throughout the body. Feel the breath. You'll notice that the mind has a tendency to go time traveling. So you'll start remembering the past or anticipating the future. And you notice this happening. It's perfectly fine. This is the work of a mind. It's just another opportunity to return to presence feeling the breath in the body right here.
Now let's begin working with the breath a little more purposefully. I'd like you to start to deepen and then extend the length of your inhale. Then lengthen and extend the exhale. Keeping this deep rhythmic in place for the rest of our practice, let's begin to feel for some movement. So first, just allow the chin to drop down towards the chest. Feel the stretch that develops on the back of the neck. And then with an inhale, lift the face up towards the ceiling or the sky. Feel the stretch along the throat. And then one more time, exhale, chin all the way down to chest. Inhale, lift the chin face up towards the sky. And then let's find some rotation. So just exhale, roll your head down to the side, and then inhale up, rolling the opposite. And keep with this pattern for as long as feels good. I want you to breathe, exhaling down, inhaling up. You can roll one way for a while. And then when it feels nice, just switch the direction roll opposite a little bit. And drawing the head back to a neutral position. At this point, if you want to blink the eyes open, feel free. If you want to leave them closed, that's fine as well. We're going to work with the shoulders a little bit. So very Mindfully squeeze the shoulders up towards the ears. Really reach the shoulders up, reach high. And then with an exhale, just let them drop. Let's do that a few times. Inhale, squeeze the shoulders up high. Really reach the shoulders to the ears. And then with an exhale, let them drop. One more time, inhale, lift the shoulders up high. And this time we're not gonna drop them, we're gonna roll them back. So exhale, roll the shoulders back all the way down. And then inhale, up the front side of the body. And keep with this pattern. And I really want you to get into all the range of motion that's possible here. Feel for every little nook and cranny of the shoulder joint. And then switch the roll, take it the other way. Good. Let the eyes open. If they're still closed, interlace your fingers, press them straight out in front of you, get a nice little stretch. Some side to side movement feels good, take that. And then reaching the arms up, feel for a little arch in the back. And then exhale down, round the spine. Inhale up and arch. Exhale down and round. One more time like that, inhale, up and arch. Exhale, down and round. Good, we're gonna to come to a kneeling position. So, taking the knees underneath you and the toes tucked. We're gonna come up here to let the weight of the body press into the heels. If you need to modify this somehow, feel free. If you want to put a cushion between your buttocks and your heels, or you want to leave your feet flat, find a modification that works for you. And again, we're going to take the hands down to the thighs or the knees. We're actually going to work a cat-cow variation here. So on an exhale, round your spine deeply, tuck your chin down to your chest, rounding your spine back. And then on your inhale, 
Pull up your chest up, draw your shoulder blades gently together, lift your face up towards the sky. Exhale, round down. Inhale, arch up, head back. Find some energy with this. Move with your breath. Inhale, arching. Exhale, round. A couple more here. Good. Now, we're going to take our first down dog. Go ahead and lean forward. Place your palms about shoulder width apart. Feet in line with the hips. Tuck your toes. Lift your knees up. Come into your first down dog. If it feels good, you can pedal the legs a little bit here. Right leg, left leg. Come up and down off the tippy toes a few times. Maybe let your hips tilt over to the right side. Just feel the left torso stretching. And then do the same thing opposite. Hips over to the right. Feel the left torso stretching. And then coming back to the center. Look forward to the front of your mat and just wall your feet to the front. And it's okay, the feet can end up hip width apart or they can be all the way together, whichever is better for you. Interlace your, I'm sorry, grab your elbows. Just hang here for a moment. You can sway a little side to side. Noticing that the more you straighten your legs, the more lengthening you feel on the back side of the body. If you want to, you can grab the calves and gently pull your torso forward to the legs. Keep the breath deep and rhythmic. The breath is the center of the practice. Let all the movement follow the breath. Then coming up halfway only, inhale, press into the thighs, with the hands, lift the head, look forward, exhale there, and then inhale, come all the way up to standing. Take your toes and heels to touching here, and bring your hands to prayer. Close your eyes. Before we start our sun salutations, let's take the sound of Om all together to honor the space of our practice, the tradition, that has brought us to our mats today. Taking a deep breath in. drop down to the side. A few rounds of sun salutation in A. Inhale, reach your arms up. Look up towards the hands. If the palms can touch, bring them together. With an exhale, fold forward, hands towards the ground, and nose towards the knees. Inhale, lift your head up. Come up halfway only. Extend the spine. Look a little bit forward. And then with an exhale, place your hands down flat and step back to plank. You can lower down through chaturanga in a few different ways. You can put your knees down if you need a little extra support. If not, just exhale, lower down the halfway. Inhale, lift the chest, flip the feet over, head back. Exhale, flip the feet again, come into your downward facing dog. Hold here, breathe deeply five times. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Look to the front of your mat. Step your feet forward to the front. Inhale, look up, lengthen, extend the spine. Exhale, fold forward, nose towards the knees again. Inhale, reach all the way up. Palms touch, look at your thumbs. 
Exhale, drop the arms. One more exactly like that. Inhale, reach up, look up at your hands. Exhale, fold forward, nose towards the knees. Inhale, look up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, step or maybe jump back, your choice. Lower down, elbows in. Inhale for up dog, broad chest, head back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now taking your five deep breaths here. Focus the eyes one place. Look towards the upper thighs or the belly button. Broaden your shoulders, wrapping your shoulders around the outside of the body. Pull in on your belly button. Push your sit bones up and back. Strengthen your legs, letting your heels drop down to the mat. And then look forward, step or jump to the front of the mat. Look up, lengthen your spine. Exhale, folding forward, nose towards the knees. Inhale, reach all the way up, palms touch, look up. And then exhale, dropping the arms to the side. One round of key variation. So feet and heels together, heels and toes touching. Inhale, bend the knees, arms up, palms touch. Look up at your thumbs. Exhale, straighten the legs as you fold forward, nose towards the knees. Inhale, lift your head, come up about halfway only, extend the spine. And then exhale, step or jump back. Lower down halfway only. Inhale, lift your chest. Head back. Exhale, push to down dog. Now let's take our first Virabhadrasana, warrior one. Inhale, step your right foot all the way to the front. Drop your left heel down behind you. Reach your arms up. Look up towards your hands. Palms can touch or be a little apart. With an exhale, place your palms down flat on the floor. Step back to plank and lower through chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down. Same thing, left side. Step your left foot all the way to the front. Right heel drops down to the center line. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands down. Step back to plank. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Hold there, five deep breaths. Grip the mat with your fingertips. Broaden the shoulders, pull the belly in. Focus the eyes one place. Strong legs. Now shifting your gaze to the front, Step or jump forward, look up, lengthen. Exhale, folding, nose towards the knees. Inhale, bend the knees deeply, arms up, look up at your hands. And then exhale, standing position. We're gonna move right into a forward fold here. Step or pop your feet hip width apart. Reach down, use your peace fingers, and grab your big toes in yogi toe lock. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Exhale, folding forward, dropping the crown of the head towards the mat. Now, breathe deeply here and pull in on your belly. Try to feel the movement of the breath in the lungs. Shift the body weight forward into the toes. Draw your shoulders away from the ears. And then inhale, lift your head, look up, lengthen. Exhale there, and we're only gonna do one of these today. We're gonna skip the second one. So inhale, come all the way up, and then step or hop the feet back together. Inhale, open up to face your right side, and spread your arms. We're gonna take triangle pose. So turn your right foot out, try to make sure your two heels align down the center of the mat. Feel your hips, Move back a little bit. So your left hip moves back, reach your right arm forward, and then go down. 
You can let the hand rest on the shin or you can grab the big toe. And then look up towards the hand above you. Hold here and breathe deeply. Let your focus be on strong, straight legs. Bring awareness into the top ribs, bend them back. Deep breathing. Inhale, come up. And then we're just going to turn to the other side and do the exact same thing. So triangle pose, left foot faces out. Reach down, grab the toe or the shin. Look up. Bring awareness into the legs. There's a slight internal rotation in the hip joint here. There's a spinning back in the rib cage. You might even feel like you want to press your head back a little bit to drag your spinal column right on top of the leg beneath. Good. Inhale, come up. Turn your feet parallel. Now, this is where we're going to play with the sequence a little bit. I want you to turn your right foot out again and come into a high lunge. So lift your left heel and raise your arms up. We're just going to hold here a moment. Then we're going to do some super fun lunge drop downs. So on an exhale, just drop your knee down, tap your mat, and then inhale up. We're going to do five total. Exhale down. Inhale up, move with your breath. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Last one, exhale, inhale. Good, come up into this starfish position, spread the arms, feet parallel. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Left foot turns out, and then you deeply draw the right heel up, reach the arms up. And then five drop downs. Exhale, knee down. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last one. Exhale. Inhale. Come back up into starfish position. Be parallel, arms spread. We're going to turn to face the other side again. This time, put your left knee all the way down right away. We're going to take a twist here. So there are three components to good twisting that I'd like you to really get into right now. Number one, pull the belly deeply inside. Number two, lift the rib cage. And number three, lateral movement. So moving to the side. So let's get all three of those. Belly in, rib cage up. And then twist, try to get your armpit on your knee and your elbow on your leg. Touch your palms together. Bring awareness into the length of your collarbones. Lift your top shoulder, press it back. Look back at the shoulder. So I invite you to stay here. Or if you know any deeper variation you'd like to take, go ahead and take it. Wherever you are, just breathe deeply. Focus on the sensation in the spinal column, that spiraling action, moving from the hips through the crown of the head. And then with an inhale, slowly bring yourself up. Use the strength of your core. Come to starfish. Turn opposite other side. Drop the knee down. And then just as slowly set up that twist. Three main components, belly in, rib cage up, lateral movement. Catch the armpit on the knee. Once you start to get leverage with the arm and the elbow, focus on the length of your collarbones. Spread your collarbones, press your top shoulder up and back. If there's any variation you like, go ahead and take it. But wherever you are, just feel into that sensation of twisting. Feel the energy spiraling along the spinal column. And then with an inhale, come all the way up into starfish position. 
So one more time, we're going to turn side to side. Turn your right leg out again, bend your knee deeply, lift your rear heel, reach your arms up. So this time we're gonna go into a Superman balance. I want you to lean forward, put your weight into your right foot, and then lift your left leg, come into Warrior Three, Superman. Strong right leg, strong core, reach active through the fingers, through the toes. Good. We're gonna move from here right into half moon. So drop your right hand to the floor, Bend your left knee, and you can reach back and grab the foot, and hold here. You can keep your gaze down, or you can look over to the side if you want to make it super challenging. Take a few deep breaths. And we're going to come out of this right back into starfish, so that means the left leg it's going to reach all the way over to the other side of the mat. Draw yourself up, spread the arms. All right, so we're starting to feel that energy flowing a little bit more now. Let's play it on the other side. Come into this high lunge, reach the arms up, and then lean forward into this Superman position. Take the weight into the left foot, lift the right leg, hold here, breathe deeply. Strong left leg, strong core, active arms, active legs. And then moving into half moon, drop your left hand down to the floor, bend your right knee. You can reach over, grab the foot, right hand to right foot. The gaze can either stay on the floor or it can shift to the side if you want to add challenge. Deep breathing. And then with an inhale, extend the right leg all the way out as they come up into starfish, spread the arms. And then exhale, step to the front of the mat, drop the arms. Close your eyes here, take a few deep breaths. Feel how the energy courses through the body. We're gonna make our way towards a short sequence of seated poses. We're gonna move through a sun salutation to get there. So inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, head up, extend the spine. Exhale, step or jump back, lower down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step or jump through to seated and set up your Dandasana, your staff pose. Palms are flat on the floor, wrist in line with the hips. Sitting very tall, sucking the belly inside. The chin is tucked down slightly. Toes pulling back towards the torso. Thighs internally rotated. Focus on deepening the breath, finding steadiness. We'll take two seated forward folds here. Reach out, take your toes if you can reach them. If not, as deep as you can, it's fine. Inhale, look up, lengthen, extend the spine. And then exhale, fold forward over the legs. Deep rhythmic breathing. Inhale, lift the head up. See if you can get a little further. So if you're holding the toes, reach around the end of the feet. If you're holding the shins, just try to get a millimeter further down. Inhale, look up, lengthen, and then exhale, fold once more. In this forward fold, draw your belly inside. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. 
deep in your breath. Try to find ease, steadiness, peace. With an inhale, lifting the head up. Exhale there. We're going to move through a series of plank poses here. So the first one is going to be reverse plank. Take the hands down behind you, point the toes. Inhale, lift your hips up, toes down, head back. We're going to hold there for five deep breaths. Four, toes and heels touching if possible. Three, two, and one. Exhale, lower down. We're gonna take a little vinyasa here. So cross your ankles, grab your feet, tuck them underneath you. Press into the side of the feet or the top of the feet as you lean forward into the palms and lift the butt up, and then step or, or jump back. Lower down, exhaling. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. From here, we're gonna move into one more variation of plank pose. So I want you to come forward into high plank, and then drop your heels over to one side. It doesn't matter which. Take side plank. Now you can hold here, or if there's some variation you like, go for it. Maybe the feet are parallel on the floor. Maybe they're on top of each other. Maybe you want to complicate things and try to take the toe of the top leg and extend upwards. Whatever variation feels good for you. We're going to hold here for five. Four, three, two, keep lifting the hips, one, exhale, and then roll right to the other side, find steadiness. Remember, your feet can be both on the floor or stacked. You could hold here, you could find some variation. Again, maybe you grab the top toe, lift the leg and extend. Wherever you are, hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Come back into high plank, and then we vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step or jump through to seated. So come forward, sit down on your mat, straight legs, and then exhale, lay down. Take a few deep breaths here. We're going to do a little bit of twisting, very gentle, supine twisting. You can bend your knees and bring both feet and knees together on your mat. Spread your arms out to the sides. And then let your knees fall to one side, the right side maybe. Take your right hand, gently press down on the knees. Try to ground your left shoulder. And again, feeling that twist along the central axis. And then just switching the sides, letting the knees lift, fall opposite. Placing the left hand on top, trying to ground the right shoulder. Look to the opposite side. And then drawing the knees back to the center. Three rounds of back bending with your choice of difficulty. Place the feet on the floor. Let the feet be roughly hip width apart. Let's start with a bridge pose. Inhale, lift the hips up high. Interlace the fingers beneath you. Try to get your shoulders underneath you. And now notice how the source of energy for backbending is the feet. Press hard into the feet to lift the hips. Couple more breaths. And then move the hands and release the buttocks down. We're gonna do two more and you can feel free to repeat that bridge or if you wanna take full wheel pose, do this. Place the palms by the ears, fingers, pointed at the heels. 
Let's come up in three parts. First, press hard into the feet and inhale, lift just your hips. Good, now press hard into the feet, inhale, come just to the crown of your head, crown of the head only. Now, check in with your elbows, squeeze your elbows in tight, and when you're ready, inhale, press all the way up. Good, breathe here, five, four, three, don't rush it, keep it up, two, now, come just to the crown of your head if you're up in will pose. Crown of the head down. If you want to walk your hands in a bit, go ahead and do that. Check in with your elbows. Squeeze them in tight. And then inhale, come up. Last one. Hold here five deep breaths. And then tuck your chin, slowly come down to your mat. So if you know traditional method here and you want to take a vinyasa, a trikrasana, backwards rolling, or any other vinyasa, feel free. If you don't, then just press yourself up to seated and take extended legs in front of you. We're going to counterbalance that back bend with a forward fold. Reach out, take your deepest spine. Inhale, look up, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Just gonna hold here and breathe deeply. Breathe with sound. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Pull the belly inside. Really extend the breath. Let the breath become very deep. And then inhale, lift your head only. Exhale there. Once more, if you know how to take a vinyasa here, go ahead and jump back and take the full vinyasa. Otherwise, just exhale, lay down on your mat. And we're gonna move into a shoulder stand. So, if shoulder stand's totally new to you, maybe you just lift your legs into the air. Maybe you put your buttocks against the wall and hold your legs there. But if you've tried it once or twice or you're feeling brave, Go ahead and press into the elbows. Lift the legs straight up, palms into the back. Now, once you're up, keep the legs very active. Straighten the knee joint. Point the toes. Bring the elbows in tight. Deep breathing with sound. We're gonna take one more shoulder stand today. Go ahead and gently drop your toes to the floor behind you for plow pose, halasana. If the toes touch down, release the back, interlace the fingers. Then let the hands separate, press your palms flat into the floor, and using the strength of your core, slowly roll down to lay. Good. So from here, let's take a vinyasa, your choice. You can do backwards rolling, you can do rock and roll up to seated, whatever vinyasa you like. And then make your way into a comfortable cross-leg seat. If you can do full lotus, do that. Right foot in first, left foot on top. 
Reach around the back. If you can bind the feet, do so. If not, just hold your elbows. And then with an the exhale, fold forward, drop the forehead or the chin towards your mat. Deep rhythmic breath. With an inhale, rise back up. Take straight arms out in front of you. Touch your first finger and thumb together, and then place the back of the hands on the knees. Straighten out your arms, lengthen your spine, and tuck your chin downwards. Pull your belly inside, breathe deeply. Now for the final pose, Supluti He. Place your palms down flat beside you. Lift at least your knees. And then press hard into the palms. Try to lift the buttocks too. Once your sit bones are off the ground, if you need to put your knees down, do that. Otherwise, keep everything lifted. Feel the connection of the low core to the lotus. Try to keep up. I'm scanning through and watching you guys. Try to keep yourself up. Sit bones off the ground. Press hard through the shoulders. Don't give up. Don't give up, guys. We're almost done. One more deep breath. And then exhale, lower your buttocks down. If you're in a lotus, you can undo it. We're going to take a vinyasa to standing. So step or jump back, lower down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Come to the front of your mat, toes and heels touching. Draw your hands to prayer. As we close today, I'm going to call out the traditional Ashtanga closing mantra. If you know it, you can chant it along with me. If you don't, you can just listen. Take a deep breath in. Swasti Pajabhyaha Palipala Yongtong Yagena Magena Mahim Mahishraha Go Brahmanebhyaha, Shubhamastu Nityam, Lokaha Samastaha, Sukino Bhavantu, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. You can relax the arms down. We'll take a vinyasa to get back to the floor. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, head up, extend the spine. Exhale, step or jump back, lower down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Guys, step forward and have a seat. Real quick, before you take your final rest, I want to thank you all for coming today. Thank you for your patience with our uh, technical difficulty at the beginning. If you look in the chat, you're going to see a link here to um, the fundraiser that we're doing for International Yoga Day. So this will benefit Yoga Gives Back, which is an amazing organization that Om Stars and Miami Life Center have had the good fortune to work with for many years. So if you have the means to donate a little bit to that, um, I'm sure we'd all appreciate it. Um, there are more classes coming up today. So take a look at the schedule on Om Stars. Um, again, thank you guys so much for coming. I hope you have a wonderful day.
Namaste. I'll see you uh, next time around. Bye.